Welcome back. You're watching Fight Back. Arjun Lutra has sent us this email from New Delhi. He has a complaint against Kotak Securities. Arjun Lutra wrote to Fight Back saying that he opened a trading account with Kotak Securities in July 2010. He claims that trades were made without intimating him. There were also errors in the trading platform and the power of attorney given to Kotak Securities was misused. He was also charged heavy interest on negative debit without his consent. He has been complaining to company representatives since August of 2010. Arjun, this is what Kotak Securities has said in its defence. In response to fight back, Kotak Securities said, and I quote, Kotak Securities Limited provides internet broking facility to customers who register for it. Our internet trading facility is tested and duly approved. While we try to ensure that our customers have a smooth experience, you will appreciate that internet-based services depend on various factors and therefore cannot be warranted to be uninterrupted or error-free. However, to assist our customer with uninterrupted services, we offer call and trade facility to them. With regard to Lutra's concern for charging 150% of the value of the scripts sold by him, we would like to state that when a customer sells shares, he is required to deliver the same to honour his pay and obligation. However, if he fails to honour his obligation, the shares get auctioned. Under such circumstances, to provide for the auction amount, a provisional 150% debit is made, which is reversed as soon as the actual auction charges are debited to the client's account. Further, with regard to Luthra's concern regarding interest levied to his account, we would like to state that the clients are obligated to pay the money for the shares they have bought as per exchange norm. When there is a delay from the customer in clearing this debit or margin shortfall, interest is levied to him as per the terms of agreement and policy of the company. Hope this explains the intricacies involved to your satisfaction. In view of the above, we regret to state that we will be unable to concede to the client's claim. End of quote. Our next viewer is Neeraj Kumar who joins us from Mumbai. He is on the phone line. He too has a problem with Kotak Securities. Neeraj, uh, what's the problem you faced? See, uh, there were some transactions of derivatives done in my trading account mm -hmm. uh, which uh, without a proper information given by the, the person who was uh, trading on my behalf, sitting in Kodak Securities office. Okay. There were, in fact, certain wrong information given by the employees of Kodak Securities. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I have incurred a loss of around more than a lakh of rupees because of those uh, wrong information. Do you have evidence of these informations that were given to you? Evidence? See, I don't have. Kodak Security said that they have the evidence because they have they record the conversation. Right. Whatever communication we have with the branch employees, they have a recording. Right. So what? And they said that there is nothing. Uh, whatever I am saying, it's not uh, there. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I mean the record, the whatever discussion I have had, whatever I am claiming, they saying it's not correct. So I said, okay, since you have the recording, can you at least uh, show me the recording? Can I? Uh, have an access to the recording that you have done in the branch of the communication that I have done with your securities uh, employee. Mm -hmm. So, which uh, they are not responding at all. I mean, okay. in, in fact, the mail that I have written to fight back team, and in case you go through the mail, none of the specific issues which I have raised with Codex security, they are answering. Their, their answers are, their replies are very general in nature. Okay. All right. Since you have heard the response, but uh, for the sake of our other viewers, let's also put that response out. Of course, uh, you always have a recourse. Uh, you can go to SEBI, you can even go to an exchange uh, for arbitration in the event, uh, if what you're saying is right, that you've not been given access to those records uh, to prove your point. Uh, there are other mechanisms as well, and of course, then there are al always the legal route. In response to fight back, Kotak Security said, and I quote, with regard to Neeraj Kumar's complaint, we would like to state that the trades in the client's account were executed with his knowledge. The contract notes for the trade were sent to the client regularly via his email address registered with us. Also, the SMS confirming the value of the trades or ledger balance and the statement of accounts were regularly sent to the client. 
Further, the client has also paid and received funds both to and from KSL during the course of his trading with KSL and the client continues to hold the shares in his DMAT account with KSL. We believe that any individual will not pay or accept payment if he is not conversant with the trades in his account. We at KSL maintain complete transparency when dealing with any client. Both profits and losses are a function of market volatility and the client is well informed about this even before he or she begins to trade by way of client signing SEBI's prescribed risk disclosure document. In view of the above, we are unable to accede to the client's claim to compensate for losses suffered by him. We hope this explains the situation to your satisfaction. End of quote. Well, that's all the time we have for on this edition of Fight Back. But you too can register your grievance. Just drop us an email at fightback at utvmoney.com or call us on 022-409-8744. We stay devoted to our commitment to ensure that no company denies you your basic rights as a consumer. We will be back same time next week to solve many more of your problems. Till then, you take care because we know it's time to fight back.